Welcome to Boom Babes Live Travel Podcast. My name is Janie Morris Riggs, founder and creator of Fun at Boom Babes Life, our global community for women over 50. And I'm absolutely delighted to have your company once again as we travel through. Oh, that was the wrong word, wasn't it? Because it's a travel podcast. I was about to say, skip through the fields of Italy fly through the clouds for the northern lights because the beautiful Krista Kinnear, well, our, the, the lady that I say actually runs our travel partner, Phil Hoffman Travel, but of course she doesn't, but I say she does, is joining us once again to talk about all of that and so much more travel. Krista, welcome. Ciao, Bella. I'm going with the theme of Italy. <laughs> How are you? I'm great, and I'm so excited about that. I'm always, I always love speaking with you, and and always we always love having you on our Boom Babes Live Travel Podcast. Um, today is no exception, but I'm really excited because we're going to talk um, about an event that's coming up in May, The Taste of Italy. But I just want to say to all everyone who's listening right now, even if you're not in Australia. I would like you to listen to the dates that Krista's about to tell you about this amazing experience because if you are planning travel to Australia in 2020, we would love you to put South Australia on your calendar and come and do this experience. So tell us what's happening in May, Krista. Uh, it's 60 days of your birthday, I think. So <laughs> life in general. Um, I was very lucky to be involved with Renato, who is our Italian chef, our Italian language teacher, and he takes tours to Sicily and to Tuscany. And uh, he said, well, a little part of Italy is right here in Australia, if you have a bit of an imagination. So why don't you come and have a look at it? And I did travel down to Port Elliot, which is on the south coast, for those that might be listening from further afield. And I drove up the driveway with the pencil pines leading you to the beautiful Waverley Estate. And I thought, I've just arrived back in Tuscany. It is just gorgeous. It is actually the historic Waverley Estate. And just to give you a bit of history on that, it came, it originally, um, the house was build, built as a simple three-room cottage with a separate barn. And it was made of blue a local bluestone which was just gorgeous and that goes back to 1856. Then a school teacher George Anstey bought the house in 1863 and he turned the barn into a schoolhouse which is one of the first schoolhouses in South Australia. He then added two formal rooms and a portico to the existing cottage and the George Anstey Academy for young gentlemen so it has quite a history. He taught calligraphy and double entry bookkeeping. Oh my gosh, I remember doing that. <laughs> and, and, but sadly, he died a few uh, years later in a horse riding accident. Then there were some other owners, George and Isabel Inglis, Mary Brackenbridge and her niece and nephew and the Hornsby family. Before Campbell and Anna Haig bought this property um, and they've been there for quite a while. So when the, the government... Um, gave them a tourist grant of $125,000 to restore the property. They matched that. And this beautiful place is located behind the number 58 cellar door on Waterport Road. So when you go in, there's lavender fields, there's beautiful, beautiful flowers, a combination of these cottages, the stables and the loft, which have been amazingly transferred, uh, transformed into beautiful beautiful bedrooms and you just walk in there and you, you feel as though you've left wherever you are and it's just gorgeous really oh. really beautiful oh my goodness me I'm, I'm, I'm you're painting a picture that's that to me is like a movie almost I just oh, no. that's exactly <laughs> how I felt when I went you left whatever it was at the front gate and you arrived in and you allocated your room and I had the schoolhouse, which was absolutely fantastic. And it was just absolutely um, transported away. It was beautiful. Now, we, uh, we've uh, managed to secure the first weekend in May 2020 for this very special Boomer Babes Life event. Now, one thing I do want to say to everybody is even though that you know that Boomer Babes Life is all about 
uh, women over 50. For this event, you can bring your partner with you. We're not, we haven't got restrictions on that. But if you just want to do a girls weekend, then of course, this is going to be fabulous. So tell us what happens, Krista. We arrive on the Friday. We do. So roughly four or five o'clock on a Friday night, we arrive. I actually took the day off because I just wandered down the South Coast. So if you are from interstate or overseas, we have a beautiful coastline drive. Maybe stop and have lunch at a beautiful restaurant along the way. Um, have a look at Victor Harbour, Strathalbyn. It is stunning down through that area. Then we arrive and Renato welcomes us and we have some drinks and he allocates the bedroom. So you quickly go off and have a look where you're sleeping for the weekend. And then you come back and he has a beautiful uh, dinner under, underway, but you have some nibblies and get to know each other and look at that beautiful main house where we have our meals. So we have dinner, a few drinks, relax, and there might be a beautiful movie on where we all sit around the fire if the weather's just cool enough that we can light a fire and watch a movie um it caused something like under the tuscan sun or one of those beautiful old <laughs> movies and then we turn off to bed or party on or whatever you like to do there's lots of games and books to read next morning we arise um and i just loved walking out through the garden before i even went to the main house for breakfast which is all laid out, you just serve yourself, have a bit of a relaxing time. I think we may have gone to see, we're a little bit later than you, but we went to see if the whales were out. So a little um, tootle around, but then you come back and you make your lunch. And that consists of making pasta. I can just see you in an apron, <laughs> and then Renato, for those people that want to can get involved in making pasta, the flour and the water and with all Italian ingredients and you wonder why you ever buy pasta after you've done that. He then shows you how he's cooking the beautiful sauces, etc. And it really is get involved in, um, as much as you like or just enjoy watching everyone else having a giggle. I was watching on this occasion <laughs> and then we settled in for a beautiful lunch um, I forget how many courses but it was a stunning lunch and after lunch um, Renato has a helper that will clean up we went out and we could play bocce ball out on the greens or if the weather's warm enough the swimming pool is there it's a beautiful pool or just relax um, before we have this beautiful three course dinner again that night and we finish off the next morning by breakfast. And then um, as people want to, we leave the villa. Oh my goodness. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. And that, as you said before, Krista, this part of the world that Waverley Estate is in is just amazing. Outside the walls of Waverley Estate, there is so much to discover. There's so many beautiful areas. There's so much history. So it's, it's you know, like, as you said, you took the day off on the Friday and explored on your way to Waverley Estate. And that on the Sunday afternoon is what you can do when you leave Waverley oh. Estate. Have you seen the new Storm Boy? Because that was filmed in Port Elliot. And oh. so when you go down one of the little side streets, all they did was change some of the shop names. Beautiful place. Yeah. We might even show that video so you can go and explore Port Elliot. That'll be, that will be amazing. Now, now I do happen to know, a little birdie told me that reservations for this weekend are strictly limited. Is they that, absolutely huh? are. Tentatively, we have three rooms on hold, um, obviously for yourself and some other people that expressed interest at our one of our events. Mm -hmm. So um, you're going to put all the details on yes. the website? Yes, 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 we will. All the details will be on our, uh, the events section of boomerbabeslife.com as well as on all of our social media and also below this podcast as well because it's the first weekend in May in 2020. Now, to, uh, to book, to reserve, to put the deposit down, all they, all they need to do is contact you direct. Yes, absolutely, because that way I can know exactly what rooms are ready. Now, I may be interstate, so text message would be fantastic in case you miss me. Otherwise, I'll be soon back because there's some exciting things happening for me this week. <laughs> 
bit too much here next week. I know. I know. I'm so jealous about where you're going. I'm going to hop into that suitcase and then I'm going to jump out of your handbag. But we won't talk about that right now because we will talk about that in the next podcast. Um, uh, so what's the best number to send a text to you if, if somebody, if one of our listeners wants to get more information about this fabulous Taste of Italy weekend? 041-007-4977. We'll put that below the podcast as well. So we're very excited to have everybody. And as you did mention before, it is limited. It's a small group for this weekend. So um, you have to get on to Krista straight away. Come and join us because we are going to do a little bit of extra special celebration on that weekend because as Krista said before it is my 60th in 2020 so we might just have a little bit of an extra surprise for all of you who do come on that weekend to join us for a taste of Italy now before I let you go I cannot let you go actually until you tell us about the Northern Lights tour that you are taking lucky people on because i want to go oh look you still can uh, surprisingly <laughs> we have some vacancies but the northern lights people go what is she talking about the northern lights or the aurora borealis as we call it are those beautiful green spinning dancing lights that specialize above the arctic circle both in norway and canada um, Norway is probably the best place to see them and like animals and um, they're never guaranteed but we're going in February, leaving here February the 1st, flying to London, boarding a beautiful Viking cruise ship and I think this has been on television a lot, if not you can Google it and they head north right through the beautiful coast of Norway and every night we hope to get out away from the cities and towns or as we're cruising, and we really hope we get to experience this incredible phenomena. That's one thing that I can tick off my bucket list. Um, just listening to people that went last year, they can't explain it. It's something to do with the sun particles reflecting on the moon or vice versa out there in space. And when the earth is on a certain axis, that's what reflects these lights. So it is pretty special. We're going on a beautiful cruise ship, so we're not doing it rough. Um, before I came on the podcast, I was just listing shore excursions that people are doing. Like, you must do the sleigh ride with the reindeers, because of course, they've just finished their work with Santa, so they're available for us. Um, you can go ice fishing, and drill a little hole in the ice, and um, you can go snow walking, um, which I'll have to train in the sand with your boots on, I think. Uh, but it's just such a beautiful tour and we've got a lovely group. We do have some availability, same phone number if you are interested. It's not too late to come with me and check off your beautiful Northern Lights. Oh, wow. Well, I can't. Uh, unfortunately, I can't go in November because, as, as you know, I've got February. two major February. events in February. Uh, sorry, February. <laughs> sorry getting so caught up with all the things that we're planning. Um, uh, however, um, this this will be fantastic. And I do know that uh, if, if you're listening to this at the moment and you've always, if you've had on your bucket list or you've always thought, gosh, I would love to go and see the Northern Lights, then Chris is your girl, let me tell you, because if you want to travel, you want, and she's the tour leading this one, she's the special uh, tour guide for this. So if you want to see the Northern Lights, you want to see it with Krista, trust me. So make sure that you do contact her. Krista, it's absolutely fabulous, as always, to have you on our Boomer Babes Life Travel Podcast. Thank you so much. Covering both sides of the earth. But don't forget Waverley. That's the most important one right now. It's beautiful. Yeah, ab absolutely. So uh, all the contact details are below this podcast, wherever you're listening this uh, from this podcast for. And of course, if you want to catch up on any of our other Boomer Babes Life travel podcasts or any podcast that we have for Boomer Babes Life, it's really simple. Just go to boomerbabeslife.com, click onto the podcast and you'll see them all there. You'll be able to sit back, relax and uh, be inspired by everything that you see there. Or of course, follow us on all of our socials all of the links are on boombabeslife.com. Krista, it's been fabulous. Again, we look forward to having you with us again next week. Ciao, when... Bella. And, uh, and for everybody else, thank you so much for your company today. I hope you've enjoyed this podcast. Janie Morris-Riggs, uh, wishing you an absolutely fabulous day. Mm -hmm.